It's Saturday. I'm so happy that I'm finally feeling better. Yesterday was a trip and a half and I had the time of my life getting lost. The whole time I kept thinking like, thank goodness that I don't get seasick because that would have been tragic. This weekend I just want to relax, maybe try to get out of my reading slump and just enjoy all of that spring has to offer. It's like a little, it's cloudy. It was, it was raining, but we're gonna go hiking today in the fells and that's gonna be really fun. I had the Sunday scary since yesterday, which was Friday and I just want to make the most out of this weekend. So let's talk about the book I read yesterday. Yesterday, I well, I started reading and I almost finished. I read 75% of This Is How You Lose the Time War. For all of my books, if you can't see them, they're always downstairs. So if you ever need the title and the author, they're always in the description box. This one, my friend Kelly lent it to me. I talked about it in my used book haul. Apparently a lot of people have read it and it's a very polarizing book. I asked my friends on Instagram to let me know if they thought I would like it and the majority, the majority were creepers which I'm guilty of, and really just gave me a non-answer. But the second majority said that I would probably like it. So what is this book about? You know, why don't you try to tell me what this book is about? Because I still don't know and I'm almost done with it. It's about war, it's about time travel, it's about romance. It's written in an epistolary format, which is there's letters back and forth between a character named Red and a character named Blue. They are women. It's a sapphic romance. And honestly, that is what's doing it for me. The letters are so romantic and I love spunk and romance. And it starts out as them being enemies, but then they grow to kind of love each other in their own ways. 
there is action but i don't understand a damn thing that's happening i just think that there are some really lyrical beautiful parts this book is like perfect to read in one sitting because it's very dreamlike it really sucks you in even though you don't know what is going on if you're me <laughs> and yesterday you know being lost at sea was a great time to listen to most of this and to read most of this and i did bookmark i love that on libby you can actually bookmark different parts of the audiobook and also leave a comment or like a note and so i did note some of my favorite most like lyrical beautiful parts and i will talk about those later in this video because i still haven't been able to go back and like match the page to the timestamp because there are no real chapters in this even though there are breaks we're waiting till it stops raining or till it, the weather gets better to go hiking so my goal for now is going to be to try to finish this one before we go hiking i have been having a lot of problems like loving a book i'm not gonna say that i love this one but it did do something to my brain that hopefully can restart it and get it out of its slump so we'll see but if this doesn't work to get me out of my slump at least i'll be outdoors doing something fun we just want to chill this weekend so i'm gonna switch over to my phone now i'm trying to demystify my camera i don't know if it's working and i will see you soon with final thoughts and maybe some nature -y stuff Sunday and I'm feeling the Sunday scaries intensely so what I think I'm gonna do is extend this to Monday because Monday is a high stress day too and just try to read a little more so yesterday was crazy I am so sore and it was really nice to be out in nature maybe not the best idea to start the hike at 2 p.m. and end it at 7 p.m. or later but it was fun it was relaxing I finished this is how you lose a time war and I will talk more about it later because i am gonna go get my nails done and going to tea with my friends later today and i'm excited about that but yeah it has been really restorative so i'll check back in later today
Okay, so I'm back probably a month later to close out this vlog. I have been through three different nail color changes and I have traveled internationally. The start of spring was a little bit chaotic and like very work heavy. I'm glad I was able to document a couple of days of relaxation and I wanted to talk again about This Is How You Lose a Time War, which I really, really enjoyed. I finished it and I'm happy to share that 65% of the way in, everything started clicking together. It was actually right before I went hiking with Dan that it all came into place when I was listening to it while I was getting ready and he also happened to overhear it and now he's reading it. He's like more than halfway through. I am not a gamer by any means. All I do is play Tetris and Unpacking and Chicory. Like those are like the three games that I've been playing this year. But apparently this is very reminiscent of a video game, which is kind of cool. And it's really nerdy. <laughs> I'm glad I was able to read it and appreciate it. Some books just find you at the right place at the right time. This book is mainly just vibes and the vibes are romantic like I said. Since reading this book I have researched the authors and it's written by Amal El Motar and Max Gladstone and they actually took turns. One wrote the part of red and the other wrote the part of blue and I think they're just equally stunning and lyrical so that was really neat to hear about. And for this book I want to leave you with a line that encapsulates how beautiful this book is and it goes Words are abstraction, break off from the green. Words are patterns in the way fences and trenches are. Words hurt. I can hide in words so long as I scatter them through my body. To read your letters is to gather flowers from within myself. Pluck a blossom here, a fern there, arrange and rearrange them in ways to suit a sunny room. Also, how cute, how cute is my reading journal now? I spent the weekend making it look cute and doing the same with my junk journal. <laughs> The other book that I read in this vlog, I started it at a coffee shop and I finished it at the Boston Public Garden and it was just a magical, beautiful, perfect spring day and that was They Felt Like Stars From The Sky and Other Stories by Sheikha Halawi. This is an 18 story collection and it's packed into 100 pages so you can imagine like the stories are really short. This book was the most effortless read probably that I've read all year. It really is very spunky, feminist book about girlhood and growing up. I showed them in previous clips but it has the most beautiful illustrations that go with every single story and that really added to the beauty of this book. I really wish that I owned this book. It's a book that's political and also speaks to the empowerment of women especially in Palestine. It's by a Bedouin author so it's not a point of view that I am particularly familiar with so that was great. It was refreshing and it's translated from Arabic so this is one of the books that I'm reading as part of the challenge to read 24 women in translation in 2024. It is so loud outside. There's like construction, airplanes, the train. I'm battling against all of those noises. This book also has a touch of magical realism and I highly, highly recommend it if you're in a slump or if you want something quick to read. That is also going to broaden your mind. I'll talk more about this one in my upcoming wrap up. I promise not to be a stranger anymore. Life has just been jam packed lately. If you watched this long, thank you. I almost grabbed this video because it has just been so long. I just love Boston and I wanted to showcase the beauty of spring here and what I've been up to so thank you for watching and let me know how your spring is going if you have any favorite spring activities that I should try out and I'll see you in my next video. Peace!